Pleasant good afternoon and welcome to Tiger Tank Secondary Schools Football League action in the girls division, the under 15. This time it's Holy Name Convent coming up against St. Joseph Convent. Holy Name in their blue ships and St. Joseph Convent in their blue tops and black, white tops, sorry, and blue shorts. As this one is off here and already St. Joseph Convent looking to rain down on the Holy Names Convent goal early on as this one is cleared out from the back. It's with Hussein. She goes back to Haynes. As St. Joseph Convent, they would have won the previous fixture that these two teams met. Uh, St. Joseph coming out 5-1 winners in that game. So this one, Holy Name would want to certainly stamp the authority early on in this one. As St. Joseph, they get a free kick here. So just to give you a bit of the starting lineups, very quickly, for Holy Name Convent in goal, number one, Chelsea John, number five, Arian Hussein, number 18, Cheyenne Hines, number 28, Nikita Spencer, number 22, Samara Baksh, the captain, number six, Calypso Ayong, number three, Casey Ramdeen, number 25, Jomaya Murray, number 16, Jody Harrigan, number 26, Chelsea Reyes, and number 39, Kalita Crooks. So St. Joseph Convent with a free kick. And then now with a chance here. Not able to get a shot away as Ayong is bringing it away. And she plays it up the field. Looking for a run there of... That would have been... Ramdeen. Casey Ramdeen. But that one just goes out of play. And St. Joseph Convent, they get a throw in here. On this near side. As it's been left for Campbell Smith. Campbell Smith with a nice throw in. Looking to pick out Dawant. But it's won back by Holy Name. It's with Crooks here now. A big figure of Crooks. She holds it up well. But then it's taken off her toes there. As Holy Name, they look to break now with Campbell Smith. <coughs> As her pass is intercepted. This time it's a race on here with Scarlett Cole. You know, some good defensive work there by Haynes. Murray. Quite a solid player, Jomaya Murray. Just sits in front of the back four and does her job quite well. Has some passing game about her. Uh, this quick throw taken by Haynes. It's just cut out. Spicer. Baksh. Samara Baksh. So she would have come into the starting lineup for this game. Didn't start the previous fixture. So she is a starter this time for this game so she would be wanting to do well as Calypso Ayong is trying to tread the needle here for Crooks but coming across is Yearwood she does well and this one is played off of Murray it's gonna be a St. Joseph throw in here three and a half minutes gone no goals yet still nil nil Remember, Holy Name would have come out on top in their in this previous fix. They are five-one winners, so they had a couple of goal scorers. And this one, Cole is chasing after this one. She has Spicer for company. As Spicer wins out, but then her clearance is not the best. Drops for Cole, and she's gonna have a shot on goal, and it just goes wide. Chelsea John may have been in a bit of problems there. But that shot was not on target, so she didn't have to do much. And this one just dribbles past the far post. So St. Joseph Convent, their lineup very quickly. In goal, Maya Sampson, number one. Number 33, Brooklyn Kwau. Number seven, Michaela Yearwood. Number 13, Caitlin Dawant. Number 14, the captain, Emma Neves. Number nine, Scarlett Cole. Number five, Sion Rigor. Number 20, Rory Gittins. Number 28, Matea Liben. Number 6, M. Miriam Campbell-Smith. 
And the number 25, Renelia Sifontes. So, holy name already. Uh, we've seen that they are trying to possess the ball in there. But something that they, they thrive on, keeping possession and knocking around the ball along the cap. It's bringing everyone into play as Murray is picking up this one. And it's played into Ramdeen. But some good defensive work as Samson comes out and claims. Maya Samson. So she's going right to the top of her 18 yard area as she clears. Not the best of clearance, helped out by Yearwood. As Crooks is trying to make a yard there. But again, good defensive work by Yearwood. As this one is played up the line. Campbell Smith. She's just crowded out. As Ayong looks to pick the ball up. And then it's Darwant now who is releasing Neves, the captain. As she's an early ball into school. Hussein. As this one is just ushered out. So a tour in here for the St. Joseph girls, St. Joseph Convent, uh, coached by former national player Tasha St. Louis. Dawant, looking for some movement here, Dawant chooses to go down the line and looks to get across in. It's a low one and it's not cleared and the shot is coming in now. It's falling for Cole. Goalkeeper John did some good work there. Chelsea John able to keep out. Scarlett Cole who was lurking in and around that six yard area and uh, credit to Chelsea John there she came off a line and made that save but it's still with St. Joseph Convent as they now begin to get into the game Emma Neves putting a strong tackle there yeah she is still Neves quite a handful Emma Neves together with Darwant and Cole up front, they can cause some problems for this Holy Names back line. Ball played through here for Crooks. Again, Samson is off a line. Alert to the danger, Maya Samson. This one, she's just rolling this one out to Yearwood, who banks this one upfield. Spicer Hussein early ball again from Hussein but not able to pick out a blue shirt as it's cleared away from the back Kittens trying to play in cool there Calypso Ayong coming away with it it's a ball over the top Crooks is giving chase but winning out there is Kwao. As she's crowded out. But M. Miriam Campbell Smith is there to help her out. As Scarlett Cole is trying to turn three defenders there. Hins. Kwao again. Tawant. Wider here for Neves. Neves is looking to take on Ramdin here. He's into the area now. Neves, it's a shot on goal. John scrambling again, unable to haul it in. But Chelsea John, the busier of the two goalkeepers so far after nine minutes. But not able to get past her so far. And uh, this game is still deadlocked at nil nil. As Chelsea John is just having her laces tied by her teammate Spicer. Quick kick out by John. It's picked up here by Reyes. Chelsea Reyes. Nice turn from her. Able to pick out Baksh. And then trying to put in a tackle again there. Kittens and she loses out. 
Reyes has given it away to Dawant, the very impressive Dawant, as she's playing in here, Neves. Chelsea John. Pint size, Chelsea John. Not the best of currencies from her. It falls to Rigord. She was on the score sheet. These, these teams met. This one is into the area again, but it's going out of play. Cyan Rigord would have gotten a name on the score sheet previously. So that memory would still be fresh in her head. So she would certainly want to be getting her shots off. Park is not controlling well. Dawant once more. Hooked into the danger area as Cole is giving chase. With her there is Haynes. Haynes does well and Ayong skipping away from the challenge of Kuo. Ayong going on a run here. Calypso Ayong and then an early ball. Trying to pick out a striker. Crooks. Ayong with this showing into Crooks and Crooks losing out as Gittens is down sorry bringing this one away Ramlin good work from Ramlin but not on the same wavelength with Chelsea Reyes as this one is given away once more Harrigan, poor touch there by Ayong. Murray. Trying to get it out of the danger area there was Campbell Smith. Murray picks up this one. Spicer is playing it back into the danger area. Cleared away. Neves in some space here. Emma Neves plays it off to Gittens. Gittens looking for Dawant. And Dawant's off the world work. Off the upright there. Dawant getting a shot away. There was nothing Chelsea John could do, but in the way was the upright there as Caitlin Darwant got her shot away. And unlucky for her, cranked it off the woodwork. So it stays at nil nil. Remember, this is the Tiger Tank Secondary Schools Football League action. In North Zone, Battle of the Convents. St. Joseph Convent up against Holy Name Convent. Holy Name in their blue. St. Joseph Convent in their white and blue. Sifontes. Yearwood. Getting in there. Victor Baya Young again. Chelsea Young. Harrigan, Ayong again, chance for the shot here, Ayong, she gets the shot away, and just over from Chelsea, Ayong there, just looking to go for that dink, over the, over Maya Samson, but this time it was over the goal as well, Samson came off a line a bit, and credit to Ayong for just trying to dink the goalkeeper there, it was just too much on that effort as it went over. So both teams with fairly good opportunities. The best of them fall into St. Joseph Convent. Caitlin Darwin hitting the upright. Not too long ago as Harrigan is picking up this one and again no real support for her. And she's just resorted to just playing it upfield. No one is able to run on to that one. Uh, 
Abai Husin. Ayong again. Wide up for Murray. Murray with a chance to play the ball inside. Ayong battling in there. Good defensive work there from Michaela Yearwood. As the dangerous Darwin brings the ball away. Into the other. But she is not going to control that one. And the holy name gonna throw in here. Hussein. Kittens. Ball play through. Cool. Crowded out there. Neves. And the referee just pulling this one back, spotting something there. Re referee, very experienced referee as well. He's just going to pull this one back and give Holy Name Convent a free kick here, which Arian Hussein is going to take. Wow. Again, Kwao trying to force her way through. Too much on that one as John. And then Haynes giving it away. And again, Cole just not able to bring that one under control. So this game is certainly an open game so far. Both teams trying to break the deadlock. battling away kittens oh god just missing that one completely Harrigan so nice looking ball there for Crooks who is going to get on the end of this one here Crooks and then just plays this one into touch. Crooks looking to hold it up to bring in some players around her. Ayong running into Sifontes. Sifontes again. Not able to clear. Ramdin is not giving her any chances. Clear away into touch, will it? Yes. So holy name get a throw in here. Holy name trying to pick this lock. So far nothing doing. As the St. Joseph convent backline of Yearwood and Leben have stood strong so far. Murray Clear up by Dawant Played into a danger area here Harrigan Judy Harrigan Crooks Trying to turn Leben Leben just doing enough to put off Crooks there Kalita Crooks Crooks just trying to hold up the ball and get players going around her. Try to bring them into the game. But so far, the, as I've said, LeBen and Yearwood have stood strong. Able to put her off. As this goal kick is just kicked into touch. Haynes. Quick show. But it's not going to be a legal one, says the referee.
Miriam Smith gets away with that one. Yeah, would a good looking ball out to Neves. Neves with a low cross and again John missing that one. It's still into the area. Cool. Neves. Wide from Neves. So Neves able to get her shot away. And John not that confident. Just dropping the ball. And then the shot came from Neves again. But this time not troubling John. So 20 minutes still nil nil between these two teams. As a player is down for holding him convent. Not quite sure. It was an off the ball incident. So I'm not quite sure what has taken place there as you see. Brandon, coach Brandon. Captain Chelsea Ayong is there as well, as well as the referee's assistant. So I'm not too sure who is the player that stayed down. Not quite sure what is taking place here with might be Ramdeen. Looks to be Ramdeen, but she's giving us a smile, so she's indicating that all is well. She's just walking off a bit gingerly. Players taking this opportunity to refresh themselves as that injured player is off the field now. The referee, too, he's just gone off in the meanwhile. Looking to get restarted here. So we 
we restarted here with Holy Name. Bringing it out from the back, giving away. That one. Cool. Still cool. Keeping it in, Scarlet. Cool. Palmed away by John. And it's not cleared. Problems at the back for Holy Name as now they're able to bring it away. And still the danger is not clear. Dawant back into the danger area. Cool. Neves partially cleared again as Kwao. Gonna keep the pressure on here. Clear away by Ram Dean. Up to Yearwood. Harrigan is there. Judy Harrigan. She has LeBen for company who's leaning on her. Harrigan. No support there for Harrigan as Reyes now comes to the rescue. Murray helping out as well. But picked off from Murray. And then, good defensive work again, Murray. Looking to win back that second ball as Kwao is coming in very hard there on Spicer. Kwao. Spicer again sticking to her task there. Reyes, not controlled by Murray, and then out of play there by Darwin. Darwin showing a lot of promise here, Caitlin Darwin. Running from box to box, doing her defensive works quite well, and then she's a, quite a threat going forward for the St. Joseph team. And she's certainly an important member of this this squad as here she is again down oh, that's getting sorry ball play through to Cole good work and good tackle there by Hussein rolls all the way through to John John getting this one out to Haynes Haynes Choosing to bring it out from the back as Ayong, Calypso Ayong, looking to get Murray going. Murray, Jomaya Murray has LeBen for company. LeBen just eases her off of the ball and then puts it into touch. So LeBen reading the, reading the game quite well. Sticking with the strikers, not giving them too much room. As this time the, her other center half partner in. Yeah, would. Wow. Brooklyn Cow bearing down on goal. And then a snapshot. No real power behind that one. John able to clean up. And then not really cleared. Partially cleared, really. As Rigor is there looking to pick up the pieces as it comes off of our last. And uh, Harrigan. Jodie Harrigan. We've not seen much of her in this game so far, Jodie Harrigan. Can be can be influential for Holy Name but she's not really able to get any possession of the ball and really create anything as they've done a good job on her as the referee just pulling this one back he's spotted a foul here on the St. Joseph attacker so they're gonna get a free kick here at St. Joseph Convent 
right in the halfway circle. So half an hour gone and still these two teams can't separate each other. It's still nil-nil. Both teams had relatively good opportunities to take the lead. As this one is going all the way through. Bounces just in front of Chelsea John and bounced over the bar as well. Yearwood with that attempt there. Chelsea John didn't know much about it. But luckily for her, it bounced over her goal as well. So she did get a touch on it. I take that back. Or is it? So yes, it's going to be a corner. So it came off the goalkeeper last. So Caitlin Darwin on set piece duty from the near side. See the coaches up from the bench there, Brandon and the other coach for the Holy Name team. Wow! Good tackle by Murray. Partially clear though. Picking it up here is Rory Gittins. Back into the area. Cool. A lot of blue shirts in there doing their defensive duties. But now here they come. Ram Reyes. Reyes running into traffic. And again. That one lean it off smartly to her captain Neves. But she is under pressure immediately. So it's half time here between Holy Name Convent and St. Joseph Convent and it's nil nil. No goals yet. So we're going to come back in the second half with more action. So play just about to get restarted here in the second half between Holy Name Convent and St. Joseph Convent Battle of the Convents. Tiger Tank Secondary Schools Football League on the 15th division. But no goals here yet. Nil nil. So Holy Name would be attacking from right to left on your screens. As Ayong immediately looking to make an attack on the St. Joseph Convent goal but it's broken up at the back. Haynes slipping away from Kwao nicely and then going for a bit of a run there bringing Jomaya Murray in now but she was over the line so I'm showing here to the girls in white. No team here yet really to grab hold of this game and and really make any serious attempts on goal. A yeah, couple of a uh, couple of, of attempts on goal, but uh, goalkeepers have done well. Credit to them. Have kept the score at nil nil. Goalkeepers relatively tested. But they've stood, they've stood strong. The defense has been good as well as Holy Name looking to get past Leben, who's been quite solid. 
for St. Joseph Convent as she's just laying this one off for Campbell Smith. Picked up here by Spicer. Inside now to Ayong. Reyes. Ayong. Reyes again. Nice interpass in here between Reyes and Ayong and then picked off by Campbell Smith. And she looks to go the other way. Bring in Kuo into the action but Kuo can't control. Ramdeen. Shot from Reyes. Shit at Samson. Good snapshot there from Chelsea Reyes. Roll out here now to Yearwood. Long ball from Yearwood. So we're seeing a change here for the Holy Name team. The number 35. Johnstone, Amelia Johnstone. So she's entered from the second half. Yeah, so she's entered right at the start of the second half, Amelia Johnstone. And they're going to have a corner here, holy name. So a good chance here for Calypso Ayong to deliver a telling ball into the area. And hopefully uh, one of her teammates can get on the end of it. As they would be looking to break the deadlock. Looking to better that performance. Previously, lost that game by five goals to one. So Ayong. Very interestingly, wearing her captain arm, captain's armband on her legs as opposed to wearing it on her arms. So, a bit of an innovative practice there by Calypso Ayong. So she's going to get another opportunity here, Ayong. Into the area from Ayong. Can't get past that one. And then Kuo picking this one up. Back to goal and looking for some support. So she was saying that that came off of Holy Name player last. So she was going to take the throw, but the referee saying no. Ayong can't control it still. Closely to Neves, Emma Neves. Coming all the way down the line is Renelia Sifontes. Right back for this St. Joseph team. As it's picked up by Darwin once more. Laid off the two kittens. Kittens just trying to turn Ayong. Ayong picking up the ball and going the other way now. Looking for Murray, but again. Johnstone crowded out as well. Murray closely monitored by Leben. And Leben comes out on top. Showing some good strength as well here to Leben. Ball pinging around in the center of the park. As now, Brooklyn Jones, Brooklyn Kuo, able to go for a bit of a run, goes past Spicer, 
And now she's bearing down on goal. It's coming here to Neves. Ah, Neves can't put it into the back of the net. She's appealing for a corner. And she's going to get it. Came off Arian Hussein last. So, a chance on the break there for St. Joseph Convent, resulting in a corner for them. So this time Dawant over this one. Ah, uh, she's gonna leave it for Gittins. Rory Gittins. Getting some instructions from her coach. So Gittins with a poor corner there. See Fontes battling with Ramdeen. As Ramdeen is gonna get a free kick. Sifontes going a bit too strong there on Casey Ramdeen. Spicer reluctant to clear lines there yeah, Spicer and then eventually it's cleared St. Joseph with the throw in here 39 minutes on the clock no team to register anything in the goals column so far as this game is just lack goals and everything in it except a goal or two. We yet to see any. We yet to see that as we await the first goal. Ayong. Kwao. Spice again. Just putting this one behind her. So another corner here to the St. Joseph girls. As uh, there's quite a few spectators in at the. Pavilion. Ariane Hussein with this goal kick played short to Ayong. Ayong turning inside nicely and then trying to release Ramdin who was crowded out picked up by Neves then Neves is just bundled over there by her opposing skipper Calypso Ayong so another free kick here to the St. Joseph Convent what can they do from this one we saw from a free kick from relatively similar range it took a bounce right in front of goalkeeper John who palmed it over the bars. Yeah, what again? This time it's not aimed at the goal. Probably looking to play in one of her teammates there and this one just fizzes out. And it's going to be another goal kick here for the Holy Name team. It's a short one. It's the... Dawant picking it up here. Dawant going a bit wider. Kwao. Still Dawant. Cleared away by Hussein. Picked up by Reyes. Kittens. Hooking it back into the danger area. Cool. Didn't know much about that one. Came off her head. Didn't know where it was. Kittens. Rambina again coming to the rescue. Regard. It's bringing air for Cole, but Ayong right there to 
hack that one away as it's beginning to rain down on the holy name goal Chelsea Ion going Calypso Ion going all the way back to the defense to help out there as the pressure was starting to tell on the holy name girls as Ayong bringing it out from the back and getting a free kick so good play from the captain her team was in some problems defensively she went all the way back helped out and then had the opportunity to bring it out and won a free kick for her team so good leadership skills here from Calypso Ayong a low one from the skipper picked up by Yearwood Neves closely monitored by Ayong battle of the captains Kittens hooking this one forward asking Cole to go for a run here but again Hussein that that Final touch there, just eluding Hussein. Susi Fontes from the throw. Ramp in it's breaking here for Cole who's gonna have a shot on goal and Cole breaks the deadlock Scarlett Cole able to break the deadlock after 43 minutes the ball played through to her and she ran onto it and uh, slotted it past Chelsea John a very good finish again from Scarlett Cole yeah just Twisting her body one way and getting it past goalkeeper Chelsea John who was flaying herself to her right but it was away from her and St. Joseph Convent did take the lead so it's one goal to nil here we've finally seen a goal in this game we've seen everything except a goal and it's finally come now so hopefully we're gonna see more goals uh, St. Joseph was really pressing the back line of the Holy Name team and finally they were able to break down the door and now again just like the previous fixture Holy Name conceding first St. Joseph Convent credit to them they have really really trying to stamp their authority as they go in here again with Cole Kwao, cool, a uh, bit of a handball there from Kwao. So they have been asking the questions, St. Joseph Convent, and they've gotten the answer. Scarlet Cole. Chelsea Reyes. Standing over this free kick for the Holy Name girls. They're looking to cancel out this goal. They want one of their own. seems to be a, a water break here an unofficial water break as it's a very hot day here in St. James we are at the Fatima grounds so we are on Mokorapo Road in St. James for this game and St. Joseph they lead by one goal to nil if you just joining us this is the 
Tiger Tank Secondary Schools Football League on the 15th division in the North Zone. Holy Name Convent up against St. Joseph Convent in a battle of the convents. St. Joseph Convent so far in the ascendancy. And uh, they would be the happier of the two teams having registered that goal. So certainly they would feel like they can come out of this game with all three points. As their previous meeting they would have won that one as well by five goals to nil. The goal scorers on that occasion. On that occasion was a double from Rory Gittins, one from the captain Emma Neves, one from Rigord and Scarlett Cole with the other. So that result would be fresh in their minds. So they would want to come out here with a similar result. But for Holy Name, they would certainly would not want to go down here again to these to this team as they have quite a few good players and just a matter of them stringing together their passes and bringing their, their star players like Calypso Ayong and Harrigan into the game as the referee is just taking the field once more after the water break players as well now following the referee they're back on the field as well So Miriam Smith on the assumption with a throw in here for Holy Name Tahunt. Getting away from Murray. Checks inside. Playing a nice ball there to Cole. Who's crowded out by two defenders and she gets away from the both of them. Scarlet Cole. And then Hussein with a bit of a strong tackle. Nothing's coming from the referee. As Kittens is in there as well. And Hussein clears this one downfield. So another change for Holy Name. See the number nine, Antoine. Ah, oh, chance here for Neves. John able to make the save. Not the best of clearances from John. Dawant. Cool. Charged on by Ayong. Hussein bringing it out now. Ayong. Reyes. Wider for Murray. Watched closely by Campbell Smith. Tawant. Nice ball out of Kwao. Brooklyn Kwao. We're just trying to feed it into Scarlett Cole, the goal scorer. Ayong. Forcing her way through, but Leben missing out. And Yearwood recovering well. Making the tackle and then clearing it away. We are trying to turn Gittins in the middle of the park. Loses out. Neves picks this one up now. Trying to tread the needle once more. Emma Neves. That one. Oh, 
Wow. Why the hell for Neves? Can't she get a shot away? Hussein. Able to get the block in. Ariane Hussein has been quite competent for holding him convent. The defender. Ayong. Long searching ball. And twine giving chase. And twine doing well, keeping it in play. And pulling it back here now. Harrigan. Oh, couldn't control. I want to lean it off of for regard. Leben. Hussein. She thought it came off of one of St. Joseph players last, but it didn't. Had the opportunity to keep it in play, but just allowed it to roll over the touchline, allowing St. Joseph to come forward with this throw. Mary Campbell Smith. Hussein again. Doing her defensive job quite, quite well. Ariane Hussein in a bit of discomfort there after that challenge. So Hussein just going over the touchline there just to make sure everything is okay with her as Brandon is giving some instructions as he leaves the pitch. Sifontes. Coach, 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 go, 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 Let's 
see from this low with this terrain So, Calypso Ayo. Calypso Ayo, long ball. This time picked up by Gittens. So this game coming very close to the end here. Just about three minutes remaining. Has a chance here for Cooper. Cooper, a lot of time and space. Pulled back for Darwin. Cool. Wide from Scarlet Cool. Oh, that was a good opportunity there. Fell to the lethal. Scarlet Cole and bouncing up there, coming to Cole and her shot was always going wide. So her goal separates these two teams at the moment as time is beginning to wind down in this game. Calypso Ayong with this goal kick here, looking to at least get one. Enjoy this game. Would not want to go down again as it's a poor clearance. Dawant and it's into the back of the net. So, Caitlin Dawant able to just put it into the open goal. And she makes it two goals to nil. See Chelsea John there with not the best of clearances and a one time finish from Dawant. An open goal, really. And she could not miss from there. And St. Joseph, they lead by two goals to nil. So they would uh, think that this result is done and dusted. As it's just about a minute or so remaining in the regular time. So, so Holy Name Convent, they would have to do really well if they were to register two goals in that time. That one again turning away from two, getting a shot away, but this time John right behind it and John with a much better clearance, I would say, this time. And hesitating to go for it there was that player. Neves looking to take this throw in here. Emma Neves aiming at Cooper, but it's over the head of her and it's out once more. Thompson Ayong. Turning away nicely there from Dawan. Still Ayong. Going through there for Antoine. 
but I can that pair of Leben and uh, Yewood doing well again here's Campbell Smith into the area getting a shot away Spicer making that block Just receiving some treatment there as a substitution was made. I'm not quite sure who went on there. It seems to be the number 17. That's Kilks. for St. Joseph Convent from the near side. Tawant running over to take that corner. In from Tawant. Hooked in by Cole. Cole. Clear away. Up to Murray. Can Murray run at this defense now? Jomaya Murray. Goes past one. Leads it off to Reyes. Gets it back from Reyes now. And in some space. Leben again. Doing very well defensively. Regard. I want to a shot from distance. Nowhere close to Chelsea John's goal. So he didn't go out of play. Campbell Smith was giving chase as it's still in play. It down over the head and into the back of the net. What a spectacular finish there from Caitlin Darwin. So just like that, able to triple this lead now as that ball did not go out of play she picked it up and expertly finished over the head of chelsea john and into the back of the net what a glorious finish there from the young lady and st joseph convent further take this game further away from holding him now Chelsea Ayong and her troops have it all to do as they've been really taken apart by the St. Joseph Convent team. A very impressive Caitlin Dowant with a pair of goals, a brace in this game. Scored in the previous fixture as well. Here she is again. Trying to play in Campbell Smith. Hussein coming over. Convent greeted by loud applause. There, yeah, that's Zara Campbell. Zara Campbell and Lucy Felix 
on for St. Joseph Convent. Lucy Felix wearing the number 23 shirt. Zara Campbell wearing the number 18 jersey. Played across here to Campbell Smith who controls and looks to get a shot away. John this time. Holding on. Rolling this one out here, Chelsea John. Ayong. Intercepted by substitute Felix. All over the top from Ayong. Looking for Murray, who does well, but Leben. Again over there to stuff out any danger. So at the end here, St. Joseph Convent, they come away winners in this game by three goals to nil. What a performance. And... Uh, They've done it twice over this same opponent's Holy Name Convent. So good results for the St. Joseph girls as they take all three points in this game. And that's all we have for you for today. We'll catch you on the other side.